Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Peter with pdesignworks.com. In this tutorial, you'll be learning four methods of scaling objects and shapes in Adobe Illustrator. As a bonus as well, I'll be also showing you how to scale strokes and corners. So make sure you stick around to the end to see that. Pete Design is all about giving you guys step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use both Photoshop and Illustrator softwares to create outstanding graphics design works from logo and illustration tutorials to effects and image retouching tutorials all at speed designs if you know that's the kind of content you're interested in make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so as not to miss any future updates let's get right into it we have a basic square shape here on a 1080 by 1080 pixel art board so the first method we'll be using to scale objects is by using the selection tool so you can come here and click on it or press v to select the selection tool so and then the next thing is to select the objects you want to scale so we are scaling this square shape so as you see that as we select it we have like a box around it like it's called a bounding box so your image might not have your object might not have it so all you need to do to activate it is go to view and then it will inside of hide it says show so this is how it will look like sometimes so and then you click on the show bounding box and then it's there so with this bounding box all we'll do is if you want to scale just hold any side and then it scales to the direction you want any side like that so it scales randomly you can scale from here to but you can see it's irregular you can it's, there's no control over it so it scales it to any direction random directions like that so that's not what you want here so if you want it to scale to a specific direction all you need to do is hold shift and then hold any of the direction you want it to scale to and then drag it so you see that it is now moving irregularly again just like the other time so it's now moving proportionally to the right side like this so same this side same anyhow like that if you want to scale the object so that all sides scales with it all you need to do is hold shift and alt and then hold any of the corners so this time all everything scales together just like that alt and shift so that's all for the selection tool so the next method is by using the free transform tool so to get the free transform tool all you need to do is press e or come and click it here this is the free transform tool here so or the shortcut key is e so and then you select then you press e sorry so the free transform tool is similar to the selection tool it can do mostly what the selection tool can do so by the name free transform tool so it can do more than the normal selection tool so this is it exactly what the selection tool can do scale irregular anyhow you want anyhow you want or scale alt and shift to both sides just the same with the selection so scale to one angle to any angle you want so the free transform tool you can also rotate but that is why it's free transform tool you can do different things with it so but that we are just dealing with the scale tool so that's all for the free transform tool the third method is by using the this transform button here so click the selection tool and then click this transform button so to scale the object using this transform button you just simply type in the number you want to use for it let's say i want to reduce the width size let's say i want to reduce it to like 200 pixel using this constraint width and height option it will make sure the height remains the same so it's it scales proportionally to like how we've been doing it with alt and shift so clicking enter now see that it's 
it reduces everything both the the width and height together so but if we remove this option and we just change only this to 200 pixel so only the width will be changed to 200 pixel so the height maintains it's the same numbers like that so that's another way of scaling if you know the exact pixel you want to turn your shape or object to so the last method is by using the scale tool so to select the scale tool all you need to do is click on the object and press s or come here and select the scale tool which is s so with the scale tool you can also scale to any direction you want up down any direction horizontally vertically like that but for the scale tool it depends on this center point here that's what gives the direction to which it will be scaled to so to let's say we want to move the this center point now so you click on it and then drag it to the direction you want to drag it to like this so now it will scale from that side like that same you click on it to any direction and it will scale from only that side like that now another way to scale with the scale tool is still is to double click this s this scale tool here so we have this uniform option and non-uniform so this uniform is simply if you want to scale it with in all directions just as we scale the previous ones with alt and shift to scale from all sides so let's say we want to scale this to 200 percent so preview so it scales all all the directions to scale it proportionally while this non-uniform as the name implies so it just scales it horizontally either horizontally or vertically so let's say you want to scale this to 200 percent or let's say you want to scale this reduce it to 100 as you can see it's only one side that scaled the other side remained the same so that's how it works so another good thing about the scale tool is that we can do some kind of special scaling so let me show you what i mean so all you need to do is set select the direction to up press a and then let's say we want to select these two sides let's select these two points alone so with this scale tool now after selecting it all you need to do is just click on s and then it puts a center point in the middle of these two points so now if you want to move one of the sides the other side moves with it it helps to scale in two different directions so you, like this you drag it so you see that it's not only this right side that is moving the left side is also moving to any direction you want like that so any shape so that's another function of the scale tool you can use that function to form some unique shapes like that so now for scaling strokes let's say our shape has a stroke let's increase the stroke width like that and we want to use any method of all the scaling we've learned today just scale down let's say we want to scale it to the bare minimum as you can see this the stroke width still remains the same so and that's not what we want we want the stroke width to reduce the same way as the shape reduced so what you can do about that is simply to come to your edit preference general so we'll click on this scale strokes and effects so it's it's not clicked so clicking it will make sure the scale the strokes are scaled along with it is any stroke and effects that is on the shape we scale along with it so you click ok so now let's scale it down to the bare minimum as well and we can see that the stroke reduces with it so that's just how to scale strokes as, as well there are also some times that 
if you have like a rounded corner like this and we want to scale it scale it down to like you see that it automatically changes into a circle so and that's not what we want we want it to maintain this exact shape right right here like this so to change that as well still the same area edit preference general and then tick on these scale corners and click ok so now when we scale to the bare minimum as well you can see that it maintains the proportion as well so that's how we do it if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section below and please remember to like as well so as to help others find this video also subscribe and click the notification bell so as not to miss more content like this in the future thank you